I know, I know, it's been a while. It's been a while. What's up guys, Alex Boyer here and welcome back to my channel. I've missed you so much. Hope you guys party hard for the new year. I know I did. Before I start anything else, here's a French message. Salut tous mes amis francophones euh, sur cette chaîne-là. Ce message-là s'adresse à vous. C'est drôle parce que le reste des gens qui me suivent présentement, ils vont rien comprendre de qu ce que je dis. Euh, dans le fond, je viens de sortir ma nouvelle chaîne francophone sur YouTube. Je vais me concentrer seulement sur des vlogs. On va faire beaucoup de niaiseries, beaucoup de stupidité aussi, mais ça va être vraiment drôle. Puis en espérant que vous allez vous abonner sur cette nouvelle page-là, j'ai beaucoup de surprises pour vous. Puis euh, c'est ça, fait que je vais arrêter de parler en français à partir de maintenant. What is up guys? I know I didn't post for a while guys, but this is because I had to work on a lot of different projects. I'm so happy how everything turned out. 2020 is gonna be crazy and I can't wait for you guys to know what's going to happen. I also just came back from Vegas with uh, some of my best friends. It was awesome from what I can remember. But I'll stop talking and let's just get right into the video. Ah, let's go! So when I was in Vegas, I actually performed a lot of magic there. And the only thing I had on me was a deck of cards. So what I did was this. I forgot about the cards and I was like, how can I possibly perform magic with nothing that I have on me? So that was my goal basically. And I love doing this. I do that all the time when I go in bars and restaurants and stuff like that. And I think that's one of the greatest skills to have in magic is to perform with anything that you see. Paper, coin, straw, milk container, napkins, a bottle borrowed object or a ring, a booger, but anyway, all this to say that if you guys are able to perform with anything that surround you, it is truly a beautiful skill to have. So today, you're going to learn three impromptu effect or organic effect you can do anywhere, anytime, with any object. And if you're ready to learn those effects, like this video and let's get right into it. All right, so for the first effect, it's called the flip stick move. You can take any pencil, any pen, a straw, a coffee mixing stick, and the move goes like this. You take the object and you make it vanish is just like this you can see that it's not here but you can make it reappear just like that on the tip of your finger you can actually place uh, the pencil right here and you can make it vanish and make it come back whatever you want and that my friend is pretty cool I'm not gonna go in full details for that just because I want to give space to your imagination I think that's my goal here on YouTube is to show you a small piece of information about the move or the effect and you guys can make it your own so the actual move goes like this this is in slow motion. The object is going to flip like this. So now it looks like I have nothing in my hand, but in reality, I have the object hidden right here. Okay? So here's the actual handling of the move. You're going to hold the tip of the pen with your thumb and your first finger just like this. Also, your middle finger is going to be here. This part of the pen is going to contact with this part of your thumb on the other hand. And watch what happened if I remove my first finger here and I put a lot of pressure like this with my middle finger and my thumb here. Watch what's going to happen. The pen is going to fly in someone's eyeball. So that's why you're holding it with your first finger as well. So watch this. This is the move in slow motion. If I put pressure here with these three finger here, so my thumb on my right hand, my middle finger on the right hand, and my thumb on the left hand, but I keep my first finger here, I can actually keep the pen in this hand. And it looks like I have nothing in my hand, right? Not what like this, you're gonna be a bit weird, right? Sir, can I show you a magic trick? That's gonna be a bit awkward, okay? Don't walk like this, it's super important. Okay. But all this to say that this is not hard to do. The only thing that it's hard is to have it with a good beat, right? Don't do this, right? I see a lot of magicians like doing lots of different movements at the same time. So it's one movement. You show the pen and you make it vanish just like that. And keep your hand natural as well. Don't be super crooked like this because people are going to know that you're hiding something in your hand. So the best way to do it is one, two, three, make it vanish. Show that you have nothing in your hand. You can actually transfer the pen to the other hand like this and you can make it appear just like that. Another thing that I like doing with that is to create a black hole with my hand. So I go like this and the only thing I do now is this. Got you there, but for real. You do this with your hand and you tell the spectator that this is a black hole. And you say, watch, I'm going to place the object in the black hole here. Watch this, one, two, three. 
and the third time you can see that it's pretty much gone right and you can't actually take it back again this is exactly the same move but there's uh, little subtleties that goes into the same move and I'm gonna show you this right now so when you're doing this the spectator can clearly see that the object goes here inside of the hole okay mm -hmm. but here watch you're going to go like this one two and the third time you're going to do the flip stick move without the pressure so it's actually your first finger that's going to pull and replace the pen in your hand like this right again the slow motion one two and the third time it's going to go like this and at the same time extend your first finger so that when you're going to place the pen in the black hole it's going to go like this so it looks like the pen has vanished right here right but in reality us guys know that the pen is actually behind our hand and to take it back i turn my hand to cover everything and i just do this in the back i place the pencil back here and it looks like i can take it back from the same hole right and I replace right there boom and again guys you have a miracle practice 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 and use your imagination to create other stuff with it Okay, now for the other effect, it's something that I do all the time, literally all the time when I go out with my friend. And the reason is that it uses only any napkin. You can use a coin, you can use napkin, you can use a small piece of lemon in a bar, you can use a coin. You guys are going to be able to make the object vanish. And it goes like this. It's only a false transfer. So when I say I'm going to place the ball right here, I actually place the ball uh, right here, okay? So don't blink, I'm going to place the ball right here. And again, if I blow and I snap, you can see that the ball actually vanishes just like that and you're completely clean. The method is this. When I say I put the ball here in my hand, I do it for real once. And that is just because I want the brain of the spectator to remember the movement. So here, I'll give you a quick example of what I mean. The brain can remember movements, right? So what's going to happen is that the brain of the spectator will tell themselves that this movement is a natural and completely normal movement. Nothing weird is going on there. Let me show you. Watch the ball. Okay, watch the ball, watch the ball, watch the ball, and it's gone, right? It's not gone, it's in dead hand, but your brain told you that I did a completely normal action. Here's the move with one hand. Okay, so we're going to practice to take the ball between your first finger and your thumb, and you're going to take it and place it in your hand just like that, right? like this okay that's my favorite thing to do practice 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 after this you need to combine different action with this one the natural way to do it is to take the object and place it in your hand but us magician are going to do this because you need to put the focus on this hand that's holding the object right so you take the object you show it you're going to do the move that I show you but right after this hand close a bit so like this, now do the movement and point. Remember that the object is in that hand and let this hand drop naturally. Let it swing a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Right, don't be like this, but don't be like this either, all right? Just let it fall naturally like that. And that hand is not completely closed, right? Because if I have an object in it, the hand's gonna be like this, right? I'm not gonna be super tight like this. And <laughs> it's gonna be a bit open. So make sure when you grab the object and you place it here, even if it's not there, you keep your hand a bit open. That's what sells the illusion. Snap your fingers, maintaining the object in your hand, or just drop the object under the table. If it's a napkin, it's not gonna make sound, and make it vanish slowly, just like that. You can open your hand, tap once, and you just made any small object vanish. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. All right, guys, so for the last effect, it's called the Tenkai Palm. The Tenkai Palm is actually a super old slide uh, that was created hundreds of years ago. But what's cool with that is that you can actually perform this with any card that you can find. So you're going to take the card and watch what happened. I'm going to take it, place it in my hand right here. And if I squeeze super hard, you can actually make the card so small that it looks like the card is completely gone from your hands just like that. But when you want, make the card reappear just like that. That's just super fun to do. It's a quick thing to do in a bar, in a restaurant, or anything that you go. People are going to like that you took the time and show them something super fun, actually. It's not the best magic trick in the world, but it is pretty fun, and people are going to freak out for sure. If you put the practice in it, you're gonna be fine. The Tenkai Palm looks like this. You're actually holding the card between your first and middle finger, just like this, boom. 
we're going to pivot the card like that so that you can actually retract the card inside of your hand and grabbing the edge of the card with your thumb just like this. That's the Tenkai palm right here. So what's going to happen is you need to practice to get the card comfortably right in the middle here and in the middle of your palm just like that with both of your hands. All right, with both of your hands, <laughs> just like this, okay? Don't bend the card like this, be gentle with it. The reason I say don't bend the card is because when you're like this, it shows that you have something in your hand, but if you're gentle with it and you talk actually normally, you can actually make it look like you have nothing in your hand. So that's the Tenkai palm. Hold it like this, place it here with one hand, practice this, open your hand and take it back, right? Just like that. I can do this all day. Okay, what you probably already seen on YouTube is this. You take a card and you throw it and the card is gone, right? Uh, it's good, but there's no purpose to it. What I'm gonna show you here is actually a quick little routine that hopefully will get uh, your imagination to work and to create other stuff with it. So I take the card, I place it in my hand just like that, I point and I make it look like I have it and I don't worry too much about that hand, right? The spectator is going to be focused here. I approach the hand, I squeeze, and I make it look like I squeeze it so much that it's becoming so small and now it's gone. Now I have this in my other hand and watch how cool this is. If my hand is like this, I can actually rub this hand, right? And when I do this, it pretty much lo looks like I have nothing in my hand. Us guys know that we have a card palm right here. So I rub like that, I gesture a bit, and now I'm going to transfer the card into a gambler's cup to make it look like this and is empty as well. But in reality, of this card right here. Now I'm going to do a top palm just like that to palm the card and to act that I have nothing in my hand but in reality I have the card here now okay and now I'm just gonna make it appear in any possible way that I know. You can make it appear as a Tenkai okay you can actually just do this as well any way that you prefer you can actually make the card vanish and disappear as well. Hope you guys enjoyed that again this effect I do it all the time it's super amazing you can do it anywhere anytime and make sure you use random object as well it's always better to not have a gimmick or something super weird that us magicians are the only one in the world to have like a silver app dollar in Canada doesn't make any sense right so use borrowed object or random object you're going to be fine practice 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 and yeah hope you guys enjoy that thank you guys so much for watching this video again I know it's been a while but I'm super happy to come back here again guys if you like this video don't forget to subscribe do all that good stuff like this video my name is Alex Boyer and I'll see you guys really really soon peace